Good evening and welcome into the Manchester Basketball Centre here in Wally Range. We've got some NBL Division 2 action for you today as the Manchester Magic hosts the Worcester Wolves. We head towards the end of the season. It's a playoff push for both teams. And the Magic coming into this one, sitting at 12 wins, 8 losses, 3rd place in the standings. Two games left, including today's one. They cannot finish higher than 3rd. The top two spots have been taken between Bristol and St. Helens. So they're looking to secure their third place spot and home court advantage as they head into the playoffs. My name's Kaz Bullock and we're just a couple of minutes away from tip-off before we get things underway. So the Magic coming into this one. They last played the top of the table, Bristol Hurricanes, away in Bristol last weekend. An 83-64 loss there. Andre Gale, top scorer, 20 points, 8 rebounds and 2 steals. Leading the team in points per game this season with 14. Manchester outscoring Bristol in the second and third quarters in that game, but just wasn't quite enough. And Martel Eli dropping in at 10 points, 3 rebounds, 5 assists and 3 steals. And Josh Pierce off the bench with 11 points, 7 rebounds. Now, the Worcester Wolves, they're in sixth place, nine wins and 11 losses on 18 points. They also have two games left, including today, and their last game will be tomorrow against the Derbyshire Arrows. So a cluster at their end of the table with both, with well, sorry, with Myerscope, Bristol, Basketball United and Derbyshire Arrows all on 18 points alongside the Wolves. That six to nine place spot, teams fighting it out, and the Bristol Flyers looking on the outside, looking in with 16 points in 10th place. And a huge game against the Teesside Lions last weekend. Worcester coming out on top, 103 to 90 in that win. Wilfred Sante, 22 points, five rebounds and eight assists. And Matei Boltano, 19 points, six rebounds and four assists as they had a great game last weekend, hoping that momentum carries them over into today. So starting for both teams, for the Manchester Magic, it will be Martel Eli, Dastin Onye, Andre Gale, Time Regent Bascom and Bailey Goodall. And for the Worcester Wolves, it will be Wilfred Sante, Matei Boltano, Arian Davudi, Emmanuel Yeboa and Humberto Ferrara. As teams coming out onto the court. Manchester playing in at Maroon today and the Wolves in Orange. So both teams are fighting for that playoff seeding as we head into the last few weeks of the season. Before the playoff finals at the end of April at the National Basketball Performance Centre over the road from here. The NBL Division 2 finals taking place on Saturday the 27th of April and the Division 1 finals on Sunday the 28th. You can grab your tickets now on the Basketball England website. It's always an exciting weekend of basketball. Out on court here today, it will be Boltano and Regent Bascom for the tip. And balls up, and it's Worcester with the first possession. Sante. Pass over, three is up, and doesn't go, balls tipped. Great offensive board there from the Wolves. And inside, layup doesn't fall for Ferreira. And it's Regent Bascom. Ellie hands it off. Annie. Out to Gale. Regent Bascom kicks it out. Andre Gale thought about the three. Kicks it over to Ellie. Steps back, threes up. Too strong. Yeah. 
stolen away there by Gale. And he's got Ellie to his left. Doesn't go, but Regent Bascom's there for the rebound and cleans it up. Ellie hands it off to Regent Bascom. Shots up, doesn't go. Kicks it out to the corner, swinging it round. Ravudi's shot doesn't drop. There's Annie up ahead for the magic. Ball's loose chase down. It's going to be last touch. Manchester, so we'll stay. Sorry, we'll go to the Wolves and it'll be Yeboa with the inbounds. Davudi hands it off to Sante. Boltano looking to go inside, working against Goodall. Out to the corner. Yeboa shots up, doesn't go. Ellie comes powering down the court, stops, hangs in the air, banks it in. A miscommunication on the pass there for the Wolves, so ball will go back the way of Manchester. Manchester with a one point lead here in the first quarter. It's under 7.20 to play. Regent Baskin with the inbound. Ellie hands it off to Onye. Stolen away by Boltano. Going one on one, hands it off. Nice hand off to Davudi underneath the basket. Boltano just lays it in. Great extra pass there from the Wolves. Onye underneath the basket, scoops it in. You see that wingspan using his length to go to the left-hand side. Davudi spins, hangs in the air. No good. And Andre Gale grabs the rebound. Regent Bascom all the way to the hoop. And a quick spell here from the Magic. Sante driving, kicks it out. Davudi, nice handoff. Again, Boltano underneath the basket just lays it in. Davudi's passing as Gale puts up a three, doesn't go. Yeboa. Looking for some space, Boltano's there. Goodall saves it in. Great hustle there, and it's stolen away. Ferreira manages to save it. And the call is that it... Checking what ref is saying there. Looked like he managed to save it in, just... And it will be Wolves at ball from the end line. As we've got a substitution for the Magic, Darston Onye heading to the bench. And Josh Pierce checking into the game for the first time. So Wolves are from the end line, one point game. Magic leading here in the first quarter. Sante stops, kicks it down. Davudi's three won't fall. Hey. 
Ellie hands it off to Gale. Over to Regent Bascom. Regent Bascom working to get inside. Pulls up. Long two is good. Magic up three. Yeboah. Looking to go inside. Fade away. Answers at the other end. That's Yeboah's first points of the game. Cuts the lead to one. Good all. Running outside, looking to go in. Out to Pierce. Ellie inside. Won't drop. Ball is with the Wolves. Another substitution for the Magic as Dan Davies checks into the game and Bailey Goodall heads to the bench. Ball to know. Backing down. Davudi spins, turns, hangs in the air, gets that to fall. Tough move from Matei Boltano. Takes him to six. Elliot at the other end. Can't get it to drop. Sante against Eli. Thought about the three. And offensive foul is called on the Wolves. That's the first foul called this quarter after just over six minutes of play. So Magic with a chance to go ahead here. One point Wolves lead. Ellie has it stolen away. Kick ball is called. So. Ball will stay with the magic. Rally on the inbound. Over to Gale. Oh, pass was too strong. It's going to be a backcourt violation. That's Thomas Grayling subs in for the Wolves. Arian Davudi to the bench. Two points and a rebound for him and a couple of assists already. We've seen that nice handoff he had underneath the basket to Boltano. Sante goes against Annie. Boltano lines up the long two, doesn't fall. Picked off at the other end by Sante, racing down the court, going to go all the way, can't keep control of it. And it will be magic ball. Both teams playing with pace here early on. Pierce hands it off to Davies. Gale with six seconds on the shot clock. Regent Bascom, two seconds. Magic needs to get something up here. Regent Bascom at the buzzer. Can't get it to go. Ferreira. Can't keep hold of it. And he's got Regent Bascom ahead of him. And he's going to go all the way. Bounces out. Doesn't quite save the ball in. The ball goes back the way of Worcester. James Harrop checking in. Humberto Ferreira to the bench for the Wolves. Graylin. Over to Yeboah. Yeboah for three. Knocks it down. Five points for Emmanuel Yeboah and a three-point lead for the Wolves. 
Annie, round to Gale. Gale looks to answer. Not that time. Boltano into Grayling. Boltano gets it back. Just bounces off the rim. But the ball movement inside from the Wolves. Getting those cuts, getting to the basket, working really well for them so far in this first quarter. As Gale looks to go inside. Draws the whistle. As Wilfred Sante checks out for the Wolves. And Peter Palmer into the game for the first time. And Andre Gale at the line, shooting two for the Magic. It's Ferreira back in for Worcester. And Matei Boltano takes a seat. Four points, two rebounds for him. Andre Gale looking to cut the lead here. Hits the first free throw. Averaging 14 points per game. 6.8 rebounds, 1.8 assists so far for the Magic this season. Leading the team in scoring. Goes two of two from the line. And the lead is down to two. Palmer to Grayling. Apologies, that's Harrop. Yeboah hangs in the air. Won't go. And it's Pierce that comes up with it. Annie out to Pierce. Steps back, long two. That's good. Tight game. So a minute to play in the first quarter. Palmer. Good ball movement here from the Wolves. Palmer drives to the basket, runs into a wall of magic defenders. Wolves we'll steal it away. Managed to keep it alive as Yeboa controls things as we run towards the end. With the first quarter, Yeboa all the way to the hoop, gets it to fall. One second difference between the shot and game clock. Annie, round to Gale. Davies looking to go inside. Foul is called. 6.2 seconds on the clock. That is going to send Davies to the line for two. And a chance to tie the game. As the Wolves will have a sub substitution, Zachary Abbey checks in and Humberto Ferreira to the bench. Dan Davies playing in his first season for the Magic. He was with Maesco in Division 2 last season. 7.6 points per game, 9.2 rebounds. As the first free throw doesn't fall. Seconds good. 6.2, Wolves are going to need to get something off quickly. Yeboah, three seconds, long three doesn't fall and at the end of the first quarter it is a relatively low scoring for both teams 16 to the Worcester Wolves 15 to the Manchester Magic and the Magic have been led by time Regent Bascom six points and two rebounds for him and Emmanuel Yeboah leading the way for the Wolves seven points and a rebound As Matei Boltano has four points, two rebounds, and a steal for the Wolves.
So both teams are looking to secure up playoff seeding. Manchester in third place, the Wolves in sixth. Manchester will be playing their last home game of the season, the last game of the season as well, against the Teesside Lions next Saturday, the 16th of March. That'll be at four o'clock. And that is against the Teesside Lions, who are behind them in fourth place. That is a game you do not want to miss. So Manchester will be looking to try and put some space behind them. Make it harder for Teesside to try and catch up, who do have some games in hand. So a win today will be very important for the Magic to get into that playoff seeding push. Teams coming back out on court for the second quarter. We'll still have a one point lead. It'll be magic ball to start things off. Regent Bascom into Annie. Pierce, shots up, no good. Palmer's going to set things up for the Wolves. Swings it round. Harrop, seven seconds on the shot clock. Riabi, three seconds. Out to the corner, three doesn't go. Grabbed out of the air by Pierce. Davies over to Gale with space and knocks down the three. First three of the day for Andre Gale. Graylin working inside. Passes out. It's going to stay with the Wolves. The Magic got a hand on that. As Arian Davudi back into the game. And Emmanuel Yeboah to the bench. Davudi. Ball's knocked out. And two seconds on the shot clock. Harrop. Harrop's going to switch. Palmer in the inbound, gets it in, shots up, too strong. Pierce is going to have to wait for the rest of his team to catch up as he gets it over to Gale. Regent Bascom, nice move inside, just bounces out. It's going to stay, Manchester ball. Come over to Gale. And Annie manages to save that, was dangerously close to the halfway line as Annie kicks it back out to Pierce. Pierce with a floater. Not that time. And Davudi stepping through, kicks it out. Riabi's shot bounces over but doesn't drop in. And Wolves have had some good looks, just unlucky for them not to fall. As Gale lines up another three. That one doesn't drop. Davudi. Grayling working against Pierce. Two seconds to go. Riabi at the buzzer and it's waved off. Call on the floor is it was after the buzzer. 
the shot isn't counted. And we see Shaq Furlong into the game for the Magic. Regent Baskin picks it up. Over to Furlong. Furlong looking for some space inside. Wolves doing a good job of clogging the paint. Riabi's three is good. Puts the Wolves back ahead by one. Long out to Davies. Davies driving inside, hangs in the air, too strong off the glass. As you can see there, the Wolves just making their presence known in the paint as the Magic try and get inside. As Davudi all the way to the basket. And we'll have a time out called. Coaches want to talk things over as the Wolves have a 21 to 18 lead over the Magic here in the second quarter. 6.19 to play. A quick run there by the Wolves. They've been led by Emmanuel Yeboah with seven points and two rebounds. And for the Magic, it's been time. Regent Bascom, six points, three rebounds for him. Teams are coming back out on court. Both teams with just two games left of the season to play. The regular season, that is. As both looking to secure playoff seeding. Manchester will be playing next week. And the Wolves with a back-to-back. -back playing at Derby. We're playing home tomorrow in Worcester against the Derbyshire Arrows at 5 o'clock. If you're in the area, make sure to get down, check out the teams. Got a great setup there down at the University of Worcester. Back on court. 6.15 to play. It's Ellie for the Magic. Gale round to Regent Bascom. Ellie, great pass inside to Davies. Can't get it to fall. Ball's knocked out and it will stay with the Magic. Davies with a hook shot. Magic picking up full court here. Palmer going against Delhi. Walton hands it off. And it's good ball movement, good passing from the Wolves. Swinging it round outside, then looking to get that pass inside. There's fouls called on the floor, so it'll be sideline ball for the Wolves. And that's the first foul on Davies. Graylin. Davudi, pass into the corner. Boltano looking to go inside. Fouls called. That's on the Magic. Second team foul on the Magic. I was checking who that was on. I think it was on Davies. It was. That's his second. That's Peter Palmer. Heads to the bench for Worcester and Wilfred Sante back in. So two fouls on Davies means that he's going to have to head to the bench and Bailey Goodall into the game. So Matei Baltano at the line for two. 
17.3 points per game this season, 6.7 rebounds and 1.8 assists. Returning for Worcester this season, as the first free throw doesn't go. Played in Romania, played for the Romanian national team at under 16, under 18 level. Just a, a real crucial player on this Wolves squad. As the second doesn't go, but he gets the rebound. Right place, right time. And Sante puts up the three, doesn't drop. And we got another whistle. And that will be on Davudi. The first team foul for the Wolves. It's Davudi's first. Miguel having a, a laugh with Wolves coach Dean Blake there. Ellie to Gale. Gale looking to go inside, turns, hangs in the air, he's blocked. Big block by Graylin. You don't often see Dre get blocked. And at the other end, Graylin powering his way to the basket. He draws the whistle. And that is going to send Thomas Graylin to the line. Foul was on Bailey Goodall, his first. Grayling, another player returning for the Wolves this season. Previously played with the Warwickshire College and Warwickshire Hawks. Warwickshire, sorry, Hawks in NBL Division 3 as the free throw doesn't drop. One point lead for the Magic, 21 to 20. Sorry, one point lead for the Wolves, 21 to 20. Regent Bascom, Furlong, Furlong driving, out to Gale, four seconds on the shot clock, Gale all the way to the basket, banks it in. That's a tough move from Dre. That takes him up to seven. Stole, nearly stolen away by Ellie, Sante picks it back up and Furlong's there, Ellie over to Gale, Gale lays it in. Great awareness there from the Magic. It's a four point swing, Magic up three. Davoudi setting things up. And it's stolen away. Furlong to the hoop, doesn't get it to fall. And we'll have a time out called by Worcester. Coach Dean Blake wants to talk things over with his team. And a quick swing there by the Magic. A couple of steals, forcing the turnovers and able to capitalise on the break. And we know this is a Magic team that like to play fast. They like to steal the ball, get out into transition. Very effective when they do that. And being able to, to pressure Worcester just there in the last few seconds put themselves up by three. Eight fast break points for the Magic to Worcester's two. And Andre Gale currently leading all scorers with nine points and three rebounds. And Andre, a player Manchester fans definitely very familiar with. Playing his fifth season for the Magic senior team. Played in Division One, Division Two, was part of that league winning and playoff final winning team in the, a couple of seasons ago. And came up through the Magic at the under 16, under 18 level. So a real fan favourite. Always love to see him out on court putting on a show. So back on court, we've got 3.40 to play. In the second quarter, Magic with a three-point lead and the ball. Gale looking to get it in. Good all's there. Gale in the corner. Out to Ellie. Four seconds on the shot clock. Ellie. 
Launches the three, too strong. And we've got a whistle on the floor. And it's Wolves at ball. There's a shot clock violation. And you can see the defense from Worcester making it really difficult for Manchester to try and penetrate that inside. Sante driving to the basket, gets that to go. Elliot into Goodall. Regent Bascom trying to find a way inside, gets the call. Finley Rennie checks in for the Wolves. Marian Davudi to the bench. It is a magic ball. Gale behind the arc. Regent Bascom spins. Four seconds to go. And that will just be a step out of bounds. So Worcester will get the ball back with just over two and a half minutes to play in the first half. One point magic lead. Again, another relatively low scoring quarter from both teams. Sante going against Ellie. And an offensive foul is called on the Wolves. Shot is waved off. And that is the first foul on Bol Boltano. Three team fouls for the Wolves, three team fouls for the Magic as well. Gale working against Yaboa. As it's stolen away. Yaboa hands it off to Boltano. Count it and the foul. He's going to head it to the line for a chance at a three point play and puts the Wolves up by one. Four points, five rebounds. Shot doesn't fall. As Gale controls it for the magic. Regent Bascom, round to Ellie. Knocked away again. Good defense from the Wolves. When you knock the ball out like that, it just forces your opponent to have to reset. They can't really get into a rhythm. Knock the ball out, take some so seconds off the shot clock. So with five seconds on the shot clock, it will be Regent Baskin with a hook. And the Magic go back up by one. Yaboa driving, runs into two Magic players. Gets it back behind the arc. Four seconds on the shot clock. Yaboa puts it up. Too strong. Pereira saves it. But it'll be after the shot clock. Uh, a shot clock violation. So it'll be Manchester ball from the sideline. Stops the break. Is Davudi looking to check in? We'll have a timeout called. So one point game here. Manchester up one. 
just over a minute to play in the first half. It's been a back and forth game. And again, relatively low scoring both quarters for both of these teams. As we, as both of them really fighting to get the win today. Playoff seeding on the line. Magic doing a, a really good job with those fast break points. Eight fast break points to the Wolves. Four. And teams really evenly matched throughout. Points to both teams. 16 points in the paint. 21 rebounds for the Magic. Just edging the battle of the boards to the Wolves. 19. Manchester forcing four steals to the Wolves five. It's back out on court. Will be magic ball. to Ellie. Bridget Bascom, he's doubled, needs some help. Gets it to Gale. Ellie, Regent Bascom with space, puts up the three, it doesn't fall. And Sante. Hand off to Bolsonaro, underneath the basket, turns, spins, gets that to fall. Wolves back ahead by one. Ellie to Gale. Regent Bascom driving to the basket. Gets the foul called and he's going to go to the line. Regent Bascom withstanding the contact. And that is foul number one on Rennie for the Wolves. Regent Bascom with 10 points, three rebounds in the game. Averaging 12.7 points so far this season. Hits the free throw. Magic back up by two. 22.3 left in the half. Shot clock's off. Sante. Setting things up. Nine seconds. Sante steps back. Boltano spins. Blocked by Goodall. One second. Magic need to put something up. And that will be no good. And at the end of the first half, it is the Manchester Magic 29, Worcester Wolves 27. Time Regent Bascom leading all scorers, 11 points for him with three rebounds. And Andre Gale, nine points, four rebounds, an assist and a steal. And for the Worcester Wolves, it's been Matei Boltano, eight points, five rebounds. And Emmanuel Yeboah, seven points and two rebounds for him. So we're going to take a quick break for half time and we'll be back with you in around 10 minutes time. So stick around, you don't want to miss this second half.
Welcome back to the Manchester Basketball Centre. We're getting ready for the second half between the Worcester Wolves and the Manchester Magic. Manchester with a very slim two-point lead, 29-27 as we head into the third quarter. And they've been led by time Regent Bascom, 11 points for him along with three rebounds. And Matei Boltano leading the way for the Wolves, seven points, two, sorry, eight points and five rebounds for him. So it'll be Wolves ball to start things off. Sante drives to the basket, kicks it out. Nice pass out to Yaboa who knocks down the three. And that puts the Wolves up by one. It's been a back and forth game in the first half. The second half, we don't imagine anything's going to change there. Onye, Regent Bascom in the corner, nails it. Fourteen for Regent Bascom. Sante, Guerrero backs it out, back into Boltano. He's got that nice spin move underneath the basket, into the hands of Sante. Step back three. That is good. We've got a three-point shootout on our hands in the third quarter. Oh, they called it a long two. Tie game at 32 all. Good all to Ellie. Pass is stolen away. is going to set things up and balls knocked out good defense there from the magic it looked like Bailey Goodall had got a hand on it Bailey Goodall one of the great defenders that you'll see in this league puts himself in the right place at the right time which makes it really difficult for his opponents Ferreira hands it off to Sante Gets it back and gets the foul call. That's going to be on Goodall, and that's his second. First team foul for the Magic this quarter. Now he's going to send Humberto Ferreira to the line for two shots. Currently leading the team in steals per game with 2.4. As he hits the first free throw, the Wolves go back up by one. Ferreira with 9.3 points per game at 6.5 rebounds. 1.9 assists. Goes one of two from the line. But Yaboa is there for the rebound. Can't put it back in. But another offensive board for the Wolves. Asante pass is picked off by Gale. And Zavudi called for the foul. Magic ball from the sideline. And that is Davudi's third foul. He's going to stay in the game. On the eight, picked up by Ellie. Driving. Regent Bascom calmly picks it up, passes into the corner. Shot is good. And that was a three that time. Two-point lead for the Magic. Leads just switching between both teams. Ellie got a hand on it. Stays with the Wolves, but again, it's just that disruptive hands to knock the ball out of bounds. The Wolves a ball on the sideline. Magic up two. Boltano saved in by Regent Bascom. Um, both teams fighting for the ball. I think that foul was on Worcester. It 
hands on Ferreira. And that's his third foot, so third foul. So both Davudi and Ferreira on three fouls for the Wolves. As Thomas Grayling and James Herrop check in. Kelly over to Gale. Onye stepping through to the basket. No good. Picked up by the Wolves. It's a two point game. Sante. Yeboah lines up the shot, hits it. Wolves back on top by one. Gale keeps it alive. Ellie, no look to Regent Bascom in the corner. Drains it. Magic go back up by one. The threes are falling today for both teams. Sante. Kicks it out, blocked by Onye. And Ellie racing down the court, going coast to coast. Onye can't quite put it back in. And Ball will go the way of the Wolves. But great hustle there from Onye. And a three point, a two point magic lead. Sante stepping inside, hangs in the air. It was a tough move. Boltano picks up the offensive board and puts it back in. Long pass over to Regent Bascom, who just lays it in underneath the basket. Great awareness there. And Regent Bascom just finishing underneath the rim. Takes him to 19 in the game. As we've got a timeout called and the Magic up by two. Six minutes to play here in the third quarter. Time Regent Bascom leading all scorers. 19 points for him in the first 23 minutes he's played. Three rebounds, an assist, a steal and a block to go with that. He is just doing a bit of everything on the court today. Playing in his third straight season for the Magic. Again, another player that was part of that league winning and playoff, playoff final winning team a couple of years ago along with Andre Gale and Bailey Goodall. Just bringing that experience really valuable onto the court for the Magic. Emmanuel Yeboah leading the way for the Wolves. 13 points for him, three rebounds and an assist. And a steal and a block. Both teams coming back out on court. Four minutes gone here in the third quarter. Harrop hands it off to Yeboah. Grayling turns and fires, can't get that to fall. Ellie's pass. Knocked out, saved in, but it's into the hands of Onye. And Ellie out to Gale in the corner. Three short. Ball's picked off again by Ellie. He's everywhere on the court. Gale to Onye. Off the glass and in. Magic go up by four. That's the biggest lead either team have had throughout the game. It's been back and forth all game long. Boltano working his way inside. Can't get it to drop. 
Magic coming back on the attack. Davis. Sante steals it away. Out to Yeboah in the corner. Three's up. No good. Gale's going to have to wait for the team to catch up. And Regent Bascom drives to the hoop. Gets the whistle. He'll be at the line for two. Substitution for the Magic. There's Ronnie Annie into the game. Darcy Onye to the bench. And Regent Bascom shooting two free throws. He's got 19 points in the game so far, shooting eight of 11 from the field. He's just been absolutely incredible in this game. Averaging 12.7 points, 7.3 rebounds so far this season. First free throw is good. When it's your day, it's your day. Regent Bascom had spells in Bradford and Liverpool. Came up through the Ipswich program. Second free throw is good. 21 points for Regent Bascom. Sante, seven seconds on the shot clock. Shot doesn't fall. Rebounds good, but blocked by Annie. And Gale over to Ellie. Will go out of bounds. But it will stay with the magic. Gale. He's fouled on the drive. Gale heading to the line for two. Apologies, that's an end line ball. Gale behind the arc. Over to Annie. Regent Baskin with a tough shot. Doesn't fall, but rebound magic. As Ellie, nice pass inside to Davies, who hangs in the air and gets that to fall. Leads up to eight for the magic. Biggest lead of the game so far. Alternate to the basket, shot doesn't drop. It's intercepted and into the hands of Sante. Three's too short, ball's tipped. Great hustle there from Rennie, can't get the shot to go, but chasing it down as he intercepts it. Going to the basket. Some tough D there from the Magic. Just over two minutes to play in the third. Ellie. Hand off to Davies, too strong. Harrop going all the way to the hoop. Can't get the shot to go. But ball will stay with the Wolves. There's the Magic up eight here in the third quarter. Sante in the corner. Trying to get to the basket. Does! Gets the basket and the foul. 
Wilfred Sante with a tough basket goes to the line for a chance at a three point play. And Zach Riabi back into the game for Worcester. James Harrop to the bench. And that foul for the Magic was on Ronnie Annie, just his first. Two team fouls for the Magic. Worcester on at four. Free throws no good. Bridget Baskin, he's had the hot hand all game long. Hangs in the air. Shot doesn't drop. Fine for the rebound underneath the hoop and puts it back in. Time Regent Bascom is on fire. Gets the reverse and gets the foul. Second foul on Rennie for the Wolves. And that puts them on team fouls for the rest of the quarter. As Josh Pierce subs into the game, gives Andre Gale a rest. And Peter Palmer back in. Wilfred Sante to the bench for the Wolves. Free throw doesn't go. Palmer. Palmer, six seconds on the shot clock. Shots up, and that's good. Knocks it down at the buzzer. Big basket for the Wolves. Leads down to five. Just under a minute to go in the third. Ellie. Oh, pass is too strong. Wolves will get it back. A chance to cut into this lead. Rennie. Also underneath the basket, too easy, just lays it in. And leads down to three. A big three from Palmer. And then Boltano adding in the layup. Five quick points for the Wolves. As that pass, a bit of a miscommunication on offense. And the Wolves will get the ball back. And with 23.3 seconds in the quarter, they can run this down, take the last shot. Pultano inside, spins, finds some space, reverse is good, it's a one point game. Annie to Pierce, lines up the three, too short. And at the end of the third quarter, the Magic have a slim one point lead, 48 to 47, heading into the fourth. They were up by as many as eight, and Worcester going on a run in the last minute. A huge three from Peter Palmer. And Matei Boltano underneath the basket. Five quick points brings them back within one. And the Wolves outscoring the Magic 20 to 19 in that quarter. They've been led by 14 points from Matei Boltano. Six rebounds, two steals and a block for him. And 13 points from Emmanuel Yeboah. Three rebounds and an assist. And for the Magic, it has been time. Regent Bascom, a massive 23 points through three quarters so far. Six rebounds, an assist and a steal. And Andre Gale, nine points, nine rebounds. Looking at a double-double for him. And with 23 points for Regent Bascom, that ties his season high against Myersko earlier this year when he dropped 23 points and had 10 rebounds. So one more quarter to play, 10 more minutes to go. And 
with just two games left for both teams in the season, in the regular season. Every win is crucial, every game is crucial. You want to get yourself in a good position in the playoffs, secure the seed in. Magic looking to solidify home court advantage, currently in third place. The Wolves in sixth, looking to make sure they move up and put some space between them and the teams level with them and coming up behind them. So fourth quarter gets underway. One point magic lead. Gale, long pass over to Annie. Annie finds some space, lays it in. Still a hang time on Ronnie Annie. Magic up three. Rennie to Boltano. Backing down Davis, has to pass it out. Rennie's three, off the rim, chased down. Wolves have been great on the offensive boards this game. As Rennie swings it round. Riabi's three doesn't go, but again, Rennie there for the offensive board, working so hard on the glass. Riabi's three is good. Tie game at 50. Pierce into the hands of Annie. Five seconds on the shot clock. Annie lines it up. Too short, tapped into the hands of Pierce. And Magic get a chance to reset. Gale with the floater. Bounces out. And Annie nearly steals it away. But it stays. Worcester ball. Rennie to the basket, blocked by Gale. Dre says, not in my house. Well, that's going to stay. Worcester ball, big block from Gale. Palmer, threes up, rims out. Gale gets it over to Regent Bascom. And he gets the whistle on that play. And that is our regular bell in the building. It just randomly goes off and uh, everyone always looks around. And it will be Regent Bascom at the line for two. First is good. 24 points. That is a season high for time, Regent Bascom. Second one bounces out. We have it. Nice pass underneath the basket. And Grayling finishes. Wolves go back up by one. Layup doesn't drop for the Magic. Regent Bascom in the corner. Round to Gale. Gale with space for three. Drills it. Magic take the lead. Just over seven minutes to play in the fourth. Riabi, three, two strong. Palmer's there, dives in the air for the rebound. Gets the foul call. Peter Palmer bouncing up into the air, grabbing the rebound. As 
So we've got a substitution for the Magic. Davis checking out as Bailey Goodall back into the game. And Humberto Ferreira for the Wolves with Matei Baltano to the bench. And Baltano, 14 points for him, eight rebounds and a couple of steals. He's been huge for the Wolves, leading them in scoring. As Palmer hits the first free throw. And the second game is tied back at 54. Pierce hands it off to Regent Bascom. Gales in the corner and foul called underneath the basket. An offensive foul called. And that's on Regent Bascom. Puts the magic on two team fouls. So Ronnie Annie will head to the bench. As Martel Ellie back into the game. Rennie to Riabi. Palmer surveying. And it's picked off by Pierce. Manages to save it in. Regent Bascom calling for the screen. Good old there. Back to Regent Bascom. Six seconds on the shot clock. Shot is good! Time Regent Bascom, oh my goodness, he is on fire. Puts the magic back up by three. And takes him to 27 points in the game. Five forty-six to play in the fourth. Gale almost stolen away, but it's a kick ball. Coach Pete Burrowski on the side saying, "Why are you playing football?" <laughs> As Emmanuel Yuboa back in for the Wolves. Zachary Abbey to the bench. Rennie into Palmer. Dre steals it away that time. Regent Bascom over to Gale. Ellie with five seconds on the shot clock. Three seconds, Ellie. Hands off to time. Regent Bascom underneath the hoop. Can't get it to drop. And Palmer racing down the court. Draws the contact. Both teams are playing with pace here in the fourth. A substitution for the Wolves. As Wilfred Sante. Marie and Davudi back in for them. And Davudi on those three fouls. Rennie. Out to Sante. Three's up. Too strong. Good all with the rebound. Secures it for the Magic. Three point Manchester lead. Past the halfway mark. 4.50 to play. Good all to Pierce. Over to Gale. Got space. Lines up the three. Knocks down the three. Now takes Gale to 15. Oh, man, it was a long two. Apologies. It's that corner that catches me out every time. Pierce steals it for the magic. Gale. Over to Regent Bascom. Regent Bascom drives to the basket. Looks like Davudi might have tweaked an ankle there. 
at the half court. He'll have to take a seat. Does it Davidio just get checked over by the medical team? Hoping he's okay. He's been a really important player for the Wolves this season. And he's just going to get checked over. And that basket, the time region basket, puts the magic up 61 54 and takes Regent Bascom to 29 points. As Grayling heads to the bench and Boltano back in for the Wolves. So Wolves down seven. Need to chip, into it, chip away into this magic lead. Sante, an offensive foul called on the Wolves. Oh, apologies, that was just a, that was a regular foul. It looked like Fitz was calling a offensive. That's a regular foul, that's on the Magic, so it is Wolves ball. Which makes more sense. As Sante drives to the basket. Oh, and a travel called on that play. So Magic get the ball back. Up seven here, just under four to play in the fourth. Elliot. Is it not to waste? Sante nearly stole that one. But it's Magic ball on the end line. Ellie into Onye. Gale, three, not that time. Sante thought about the three, swings it round to Yeboah. Yeboah's blocked by Onye. Rennie, back to Yeboa. Four seconds on the shot clock. Yeboa driving to the basket. Great D from Goodall. Onye saves it. Picked off by Sante. Sante lays it in, bounces about, drops it in. Great read from Sante on the passing line as Elliot is blocked at the other end. Wolves cut the lead to five. We'll have a time out called by coach Pete Paraskeva for the Magic. 2.47 to play here in the fourth. Manchester have a five point lead over the Wolves. Still a lot of time to play. We've seen how quickly this game can change. And threes have been falling for both teams. So, a lot, a lot of time still to play. Leading all scorers so far, Time Regent Bascom, 29 points, eight rebounds, two assists, a steal and a block. And Andre Gale with 14 points, nine rebounds, two assists and a block for the Magic. And for the Wolves. Matei Boltano, 14 points for him, eight rebounds. And Emmanuel Yeboah, 13 points and four rebounds. And Yeboah was playing with Mayasco in Division 2 and the EABL last season. Made it to the EABL finals with Mayasco. Leads the team in points per game with 16.3, 6.7 rebounds, 3.4 assists, leading in all categories. He's been huge for the Wolves all season long and continues to do so today. So it's magic ball up five. 2.47 to play. 
Lemieux to Ellie. Gail, Ellie in the corner. Great handoff there to Regent Bascom. He's blocked. Good ones there, rejected. As Ellie with three seconds on the shot clock, hits it. That's a big bucket for Martel Ellie. Increases the lead to eight. He's been dishing out passes all game long. And now he's like, I'm going to drop in some threes. And Boltano gets fouled as Onye just got himself too high in the air to be able to stop. Foul number two on Onye. As we see Dan Davies back into the game for Bailey Goodall. First free throw doesn't drop. Second bounces out, tip though into the hands of Ferreira and Rennie for three, too strong. Picked off by Yeboa, driving all the way and a travel is called. So the Magic will get the ball back and you see there Davies just saying just just calm down, just calm things down. Magic with time on their side here. 149 to play in an eight point lead. Wolves picking up. Onye gets it over the line. Yeboah fighting to steal it away. Ellie picks it off. Ellie out to Gale. Three is good. Nothing but net for Andre Gale. Magic's leads up to 11. They turned it on here in the fourth. Sante's pass too strong, out of bounds. Ball goes back with the Magic. And with under 90 seconds and an 11 point lead. Regent Bascom, 29 points for him in the game. And that's a backcourt violation. Pass was just passed back before the foot was over the line. So Wolves ball. James Turner in for Finley Rennie. ball. Yeboah, threes up, doesn't go and last touch will be Magic, so ball is going to stay with the Wolves. Sante driving all the way to the basket. Several Magic players look like they got a hand on that, just Getting in the right space defensively. As Davies out to Regent Bascom. Picked off by Ferreira. Turner lines up the three. Hits it. Eight point lead. 33 seconds to go. Turner, three, too strong that time. And Yeboah round to Sante. Turner again with space for three. That one's off the front of the rim. And the Magic look like they will just dribble this one out. And time at Regent Bascom. 
there at the end of the game. 29 points for him as the Magic take the win, 67 to 59. Behind a huge 29 points from Time Region Bascom. Eight rebounds for him, two assists, a steal and a block. Andre Gale, 17 points, nine rebounds, three assists and three steals. And Martel Ellie adding in eight points, three rebounds, seven assists and three steals. And for the Wolves, it was Matei Boltano, 14 points for him, eight rebounds. Along with four blocks and a couple of steals. And Emmanuel Yeboah, 13 points, five rebounds, two steals and a block. And Wilfred Sante, 11 points, four assists and a rebound for him. So the Magic, a big win for them as they head into their final game of the regular season next weekend, which will be against the Teesside Lions. The team that's sitting behind them in fourth place. That's going to be an absolutely must-see game. Magic looking to position themselves as best they can, going two wins from two in their last two games of the season, putting some space behind them and securing that third-place playoff spot. So if you're in the Manchester area, get down to the Manchester Basketball Centre. That game tips off at four o'clock next Saturday. The Magic against the Teesside Lions. And for the Worcester Wolves, they'll be heading back home and playing the Derbyshire Arrows tomorrow evening at five o'clock at home. So the final score from here in Manchester, the Magic 67, Wolves 59. Thank you for joining us and we'll see you next time.